Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the report. We've got a disaster in Australia. Forget the fires. Forget the virus. We're running out of toilet paper. This is a national catastrophe. Ah! Welcome to the report. Just, uh, okay, sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we're just uh, counting my supplies here uh, at uh, the Unshackled headquarters. Of course, we're well, we're well, well supplied. Just in case we need a wipe here, so every, everything's all good. No need to panic too much at the Unshackled headquarters. But yes, ladies and gentlemen, it's um, a great, uh, incredible national tragedy. Toilet paper is on, you know, like, we're running out. What's going on? We can't get enough. I mean, I'm pretty well stocked at home, actually. You know, I've managed to locate my local toilet dealer, and he's been, you know, kind of offering me something. Oh, yeah, mate, I got this for you. I got this for you. Very nice, very nice, very nice. So that's fantastic. So um, I guess this is really part two of the coronavirus uh, report here uh, today. And um, it's very interesting to note, first of the first things to go uh, in, a, in a crisis is... Uh, kind of rationing and that started with uh, the props we have here today our toilet paper um and obviously australians have uh, taken to this tragedy uh by basically buying up every toilet roll that they can lay their hands on you go to any supermarket anywhere over australia and the the stall is empty except you know uh, when they get their deliveries um a store near me uh leo's in in heidelberg um they get their uh, supplies so i pop down there when they get their deliveries and i grab my quilton or whatever i need you know and uh so take care of the, the house and make sure everything's in order but um so the coronavirus appears to be coming um when i did the first report on the coronavirus how can i say it i dealt with the subject of whether it is a conspiracy uh, of whether this virus uh, is occurred and obviously that's a speculation um i believe it possibly could be because i mean there are a number of things that are suspicious about it um movement of, of people human beings on the planet because obviously people in chinese new year Chinese people from all over the world will will visit, you know, China or the other way around. People from China will visit the West. So, you know, it is a kind of great time of movement. So I thought it was very suspicious that this happened right before Chinese New Year, like a week or two before it hit. It really began to hit in, in China. So people did begin to get out. So it would spread, so to speak. Um, another thing that was suspicious, there is a kind of um, weapon facility. Um, there is a bioweapons facility in Wuhan. Um, so, I mean, that's deeply suspicious in itself. So that, that's possible um, cause for concern a prior conspiracy and obviously there's some other story about some kind of agent or some kind of person carrying um kind of bioweapon um uh, uh, like items in and out of america um whether they be a spy or an agent or something there's a new story about that you can look that up in your news feed so this all to me you know is, is deeply suspicious and obviously also was bill gates's prediction six months before that some kind of virus was going to hit that was going to you know, knock out a certain amount of people so anyway look you know regardless of what is happening you know this thing is hit you know what i mean um it, it's in western countries uh it's in australia but it, it's not yet at a pandemic level um australia might be lucky um we might be able to contain it um it seems in a country like um uh, italy for example that it hasn't been contained it's just gone you know they basically put the whole country in lockdown now because it seems to have spread um this could be happening right now um obviously too um one thing that you know that's interesting we should really talk about here on the report is that you know is this thing just like the flu? I mean, is this really just a new form of flu? I mean, because the, I think the average death toll for people who get the flu is like 1% or 2%, and this is only something like 3 or 4%, you know, even if we get it. So is this really just like a virulent flu? And is actually the, the scare that we're experiencing... I mean, I might even have to be guilty of this. I mean, am I, you know, propagating this scare by, you know, by, you know, so oh, it's a giant conspiracy of international government. Maybe it's just this, this, um, um, what you would call a very stringent disease. So, you know, we need to really be aware of scare tactics and maybe even myself uh, am guilty of, um, kind of, uh, propagating this kind of scare apropos of the virus. So maybe it's really over-exaggerated. Maybe it's really nothing to fucking worry about. And we just need to fucking man up and, um, you know, go about our normal lives. And if we come down with the flu, really take care of us. Ourselves. I mean, for example, to viewers of the uh, of the Unshackled in the report from Tiger Mountain, I say to you, um, go get your vitamin C and go get your toilet paper, you know, uh, and uh, and your tissue paper and, and and everything else, so that if you do come down with something. Um, you're going to be okay, you know, because we, we're here at the report. We care about your well-being. So, you know, maybe it is a scare, you know. Um, so, you know, it's it's this is one interesting thing about the kind of um, world we live in at the moment is a kind of ambiguity. You know, we, we we can't tell exactly what's going on, you know, and and this is the world we sort of have to live in. And um, I don't know whether it's a good thing. It's probably not a good thing. But at the moment, I'd say the virus is obviously some kind of a legitimate threat, but it may not be the worst threat we've ever faced. I mean, obviously, we survived SARS and we survived a number of other these kind of virus scares that have come out of China. 
I imagine we're probably going to survive this one, but it does seem like there is going to be some kind of catastrophe. Obviously, um, you're seeing like, uh, you know, there've been a, a huge amount of like stock market crashes and, and rises and stuff. And obviously somehow it's, it seems to be related to Trump as well. Like it seems to be some kind of attack upon Trump, like they're hoping to crash the economy. Um, and it's interesting that it came from China and it also happened just after um, Trump's kind of kind of trade war with China. And it's interesting that this um, this virus emerged from China. So, you know, this is this is all I wanted to talk about, all these kind of vectors and this kind of matrix that we're in at the moment with this virus. And, you know, I don't know about you, but I'm going to grab my toilet paper, I'm going to go to my bunker, and I'm going to hide out until this whole fucking thing's over. So, see you all report from my Tiger, Tiger Mountain Watchers. I'm heading off with my toilet paper. Bye!